do you have an ideal reader in mind? Uh, and if you do, what do you hope that they'll get from the books? Well, I do have an ideal reader. Um, and it's somebody who would never pick up a Pauline scholarship book. Um, I've often, I often think when um, people talk to me about their reaction to Phoebe, um, and normally people who are Pauline scholars um, have been just a little bit hesitant about it because they would say, well, I'd rather read a commentary, to which I would want to respond, well, if you would read a commentary, then please go ahead, read a commentary. Um, that's probably the best way of engaging with the text. But what I'm hoping to do is to open up Pauline scholarship to um, open up the text for people who would never normally engage with scholarship. They would never pick a big fat book of Pauline scholarship off the shelf. They'd never read a commentary. And actually what I was really um, touched by in reactions to Phoebe are the number of people who said, I read Phoebe and then I read Romans. And I've never read Romans all the way through because it's felt too hard. And in a way, I wanted to say I wrote it for you. Um, and the same, I think, is true of Lydia. What I really hope is that people will read Lydia, they'll then read Acts, and then they'll read Philippians, and then they will start imagining for themselves what it was like. So my ideal reader is somebody who would never normally imagine doing this, um, and then might be tempted into the world of thinking about the New Testament, um, because they wouldn't normally have done it.